going, yeah, we're heavenly bound. Never you mind about what people say. We'll be shouting hallelujah on the judgment day. Right up in the chariot early in the morning. Right up in the chariot early in the morning. Right up in the chariot early in the morning. Early in the morning just to see my Lord. When I get to heaven, gonna put on shoes. I'll be shouting and I'll pray and I'll be spreading the news. And people talking about the promised land We'll be dancing to the music of the heavenly band Right up in the chariot early in the morning Right up in the chariot early in the morning Right up in the chariot early in the morning Early in the morning just to see my Lord Right early in the morning I know that I customarily uh, say something, but due to the nature of the length of this concert, I'm going to keep my comments brief this evening because uh, it's, it's about these kind of guys uh, that we're here tonight. I'd like to thank you for coming out this evening. Um, just a quick recap. Um, it, normally, middle school, junior high contest doesn't happen this late in the year, and it was just this Saturday, as evidenced by uh, some of you who are ex-period parents and middle school girls chorus parents having to have your children here at uh, probably earlier than you'd like. 
Uh, but uh, all the groups did a, a really, really fantastic job considering uh, there was a bomb threat on Friday afternoon during these guys' performance. And uh, then the next day when we arrived, I, I thought nothing else could go wrong, but then there was a, a, somebody had pulled a fire alarm. So I've uh, pretty much seen it all. But then again, I probably shouldn't say that either. <laughs> these guys back here uh, did a really good thing. They, they received, as you know, if, I, if you've received my emails, um, the state of Ohio, you have three judges in junior high. Each of them gives a score, and then it's a simple average that gives them their overall score. Um, it's pretty simple average. They got a two, a two, and a two. A one is a superior rating, and uh, twos are excellent ratings. They received straight excellent ratings, and that is definitely nothing to shake a stick at. Um, to give you a frame of reference, three years ago when I began here, uh, this group went in class C, which is the easiest level of difficulty music in middle school, and re received straight threes. Um, the last year, or the second year I was here, I was not a middle school teacher, and uh, they did not go at all. And then my third year, when I took uh, over the middle school choruses in addition to the high school, they went in class C again and received straight superior ratings, ones. And um, this year they did a big, big thing. I don't know when the last time this has been done in Finneytown, uh, but they jumped two classifications to the hardest level of difficulty in middle school music in class A. So for them to pull off straight twos their first time in class A, I'm pretty proud of them. So give them a round of applause. Our girls group, which went first this evening, also did an, a very, very nice job. They went in, in Class C and received a 2, a 1, and a 2, giving them an average of 2 overall, so we're very pleased with their performance as well. And just to finish, uh, as I said, I'm going to keep my comments brief, the X period uh, was in Class A and received straight, uh, excellent ratings, rather. So uh, we're all very proud of everything that they've done this year, and uh, we are going to continue now with the concert with the guys' final piece which is Jimmy Crack Corn, and you're going to have Jack, not Jack, sorry, Zach. Zach Gill is going to come up and do a little uh, speaking solo for your entertainment. It's the Finneytown Men's Chorus.
There's one brief correction in the program this evening. Instead of uh, doing the song that goes like this, we're actually going to perform our contest pieces for you this afternoon. And uh, we're going to do My Love and I, which was their second required piece. And then we're going to close with the other program, uh, selection in your program, Won't You Sit Down. This is My Love and I.
like to thank you for all coming out this evening and uh, we're going to continue with the high school portion in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, look for lights dimming and that will be your clue uh, we'll just need to leave these front areas open for choirs and uh, we'll get right along with the high school portion of the program shortly thank you very much for coming
troubles, what does he care if the man ain't free? Oh, man river, that old man river, he must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keeps rolling, he keeps on rolling along. He told and got it, and then that lancer is soon. But don't say nothing But old man river He just keeps rolling And old man river He just keeps rolling And old man river He just keeps rolling Along Oh
I'm just going to take a, a couple seconds. We're going to have some instruments come out, and uh, we need to make some adjustments with some equipment. Um, and while we're doing that, I'm just going to take the brief opportunity, uh, for the sake of the length of the concert this evening, to um, just make my comments brief. Um, there's been a lot of stuff this year. I mean, if you think about it, we've had concerts rescheduled. We've had concerts snowed out. I mean, it's just been uh, an interesting year by all accounts. Um, the group behind you is the Finneytown High School Women's Chorus, and they went to district contests held here at Finneytown back in March, uh, received an overall superior rating. The only two, and one is the best, um, the only two that they received was in uh, sight reading, and they decided uh, that they were going to solve that problem. Little did I know that they would go to state contest this year in Class C and get a one from every single judge. We're very, very proud of them. <laughs> we're going to take just a second, get these guys to make sure we're in tune, and uh, then we're going to finish with a country tune by the Dixie Chicks called Cowboy Take Me Away.
like silver all the lights are misty in the river in the darkness the trees are full of starlight and all i see is him and me forever and forever and i know him the world around me changes the trees are bare and everywhere the streets are full of strangers i love him but every day i'm learning all my life i've only been pretending 
I'm looking for a particular individual. Is Haley Cater still here? Okay. We are going to continue the concert. I have to stall for a minute because we have to, a little bit of an outfit change. Uh, the group behind you, obviously, is the Finneytown High School Corral. They uh, competed also at state competition this, this year, um, received an overall excellent rating in Class A. So we're, we're very, very proud of them for that as well. We are going to uh, do something that's not really customary for this group, and we're going to start off with uh, something that, ironically, I didn't really start to like this song until the movie Wayne's World became popular. Um, <laughs> however, I will date myself when I say uh, I enjoyed when I was probably about five, uh, grooving to another one bites the dust in the car. So uh, that, that will date me a little bit, but anyway. Uh, we're going to continue our portion with the program with Corral, and we're going to do Bohemian Rhapsody.
Just a note of some quick housekeeping before we do our final number before our awards this evening. Um, it's been a real privilege to work, especially with this senior class, but with the group as a whole. Um, we're going to close on a joyful note. This is an African. Uh, it can fit in multiple times of the year religiously, 
but uh, we just like it because of the many layers. This is built on a musical term called ostinato, and if you're unfamiliar with that term, what it means is simple rhythmic and melodic patterns that are repeated over and over again, and when you throw them all together, it really sounds cool. Um, that's one of the founding things when you teach elementary students. Um, if you put them on a computer, you can have them come up with all kinds of different ostinati. You put it together in the computer, the software, and it plays it back. And, and really, that's an interesting thing to watch children learn music education that way. Um, so this piece is entitled Wana Baraka. Concluding this piece, uh, we will take just a brief second, get ourselves set up, and we'll have the, these guys sit down, and then we will do our service awards as quickly as possible while still... Uh, make sure, making sure that we honor those folks who have earned uh, the awards that they're receiving this evening. And immediately follow that, please, please stick around. Uh, we have a really great slideshow for you this evening of the seniors, and uh, we'll be doing a great piece that many of you are familiar with. Again, this is the Finneytown High School Chorale in their final number before the slideshow. This is Juana Baraka.
Okay, without further ado, I'd like to begin off, uh, begin this year's ceremonies by mentioning a couple of people who were really, really uh, instrumental in making a lot of these things happen this year. Um, just to give you an idea, again, I, I kind of said it a little bit earlier in the program, it's been kind of a, a strange year. If en many of you can remember, um, our fall concert, our first one was rescheduled three times. Uh, so that was kind of an interesting thing, and you know, we were here to support the boys' soccer team, but uh, it was an interesting time. Uh, the middle school kids, uh, their chorus concert in December was snowed out as we were leaving school, and so therefore they had to be on the same concert. These guys have uh, done a, a couple of civic events, uh, performing for the Northminster Presbyterian Women's Luncheon, doing some other things. There's a lot of kids in here that are active in honor choirs, and we're gonna try and get through that as quickly as possible. First off, I have to thank a number of people. Um, in terms of staff here at Finneytown, all the teachers, all the music teachers especially. Uh, Rick Hanner has helped me out with the middle school uh, boys group, and he's also helped me out with freshman chorus. He's been a wonderful, wonderful help this year, and I couldn't have done it without him. Miss Heidi Johnson, who's our orchestra director and department chair, she's done a phenomenal job as well this year. And uh, just, you know, especially with this evening and getting these types of things ready, she's always there to get those things ready. Um, the elementary teachers, Mr. Jones, Mr. Steve Jones, and Miss uh, Mario Rusinak, all of those folks, you wouldn't have these folks on stage if it weren't for those folks, and, and I am not ignorant to that fact. And then finally, I want to really, really take a second um, this lady keeps me in check. She's always on her game. She comes in even on her off days. It's like most of us, it's our you know, best days. Um, I just can't say enough. I, I'd like you to help me thanking Mrs. Brenda Hartman. A lot of the outfits that these folks wear uh, take a long time to get these kids into. Uh, hemming dresses, hemming tuxedo pants, fixing things, tears, zippers, all that kind of stuff. That falls under the uh, auspices of the ladies that help us out with uniform coordination. And there are really too many people to try and recognize tonight, so I'm going to uh, make sure that if any parent has been involved, I'd like to thank them. And in particular, I'd like to help, or excuse me, I'd like to thank Brenda Dennis for doing all the uniform coordination for the high school and middle school choirs. We really, really appreciate that. Our Music Parents Association has a couple of vice presidents. Uh, the president for, a vice president rather for high school choir is Mia Lee, and the vice president for middle school chorus is Penny Sauer. Those ladies, again, uh, like Brenda Hartman I, and Brenda Dennis, I can usually call them and say, hey, I've got a crisis. Can you come solve this and help me figure this out? Uh, those ladies have been really, really helpful, so I'd like to thank them as well. And finally, I would like to very quickly uh, just thank anybody that has chaperoned a concert, a contest, a trip of any kind this year. If you're a parent chaperone in the audience, would you please stand and be recognized? I really appreciate your help. I know there are some out there. I'm gonna recognize uh, really quickly the uh, choir leadership. We have a number of student secretaries that help me each day with attendance. Um, teaching over 300 kids can be a daunting task sometimes, and these folks uh, come in, I hand them the grade book and say, I need attendance, and I need you to double check it. Um, just very quickly, I'm just gonna go through the list of, of choir secretaries in the middle school. Lyndon McGuffey for the middle school girls, Matt Blauser and John Hesse for the middle school boys. Uh, we also have um, Jonathan Gast and Hillary Amon for the X period chorus. The high school secretaries, Caitlin Pantano and Philip Hesselbrock are in Corral. Kennedy Hillman and Akaika Cummings in the freshman chorus. Gabby Jones and Patricia Jumbo, the women's chorus. And then Matt Offrey has served in the men's chorus. Peyton Manning. Sorry. Um, and then next, uh, really quickly, I'm gonna go through the various honor choirs. We were really fortunate this year in honor choir attendance. Um, I'm going to read your name, and as I call your name, would you please stand and be recognized? Uh, to let you know, the junior high students that attended, 
Uh, we had Haley Cater, Danielle Chapman, Rachel Coomer, Emily Earl, Nate Girdler, Julian Jones, Lyndon McGuffey. Uh, the freshmen that were in that group, or rather, I'm sorry, the uh, junior high school and ensemble folks, we had Bregan Adams, Tim Ovia, Haley Cater, Rachel Sauer, Emily Earl, Danielle Chapman, Isha and Nisha Early, Rachel Coomer, Maria Moss, and Lennon McGuffey. I'd like to note that all the, we, we have not had a strong vocal showing at middle school solo and ensemble contest. Every kid that went this year received a, a superior rating, so we're really proud of that as well. Um, we, it was a, an absence of mind for me in a big production like this. Eventually, I know I'm going to make one mistake, and it was kind of a big one, and uh, I wish she was still here, and I will make sure that I uh, take care of this in some other fashion. But uh, if you would collectively help me in uh, announcing, I'm going to announce the Middle School Choir Student of the Year. This student not only went to solo and ensemble, she played uh, one of the roles in this year's musical. She shows up to X period every morning on time and early. She sings solos. You saw her tonight. And this kid, uh, really, I mean, there were a number of phenomenal music students in our middle school this year. It's going to be really exciting to see them grow up and, and come up into high school. But this year, um, again, it was very close, but I'd like to award the middle school student of the year to Haley Cater. <laughs> All right. And getting on to the NKU Honor Choir. Uh, again, if, you, if you'd stand when I call your name. Adam Dean, Shalina Hawkins, John Henze, Gabby Jones, Kelsey Linder, Corey Lord, Abby Mayer, Tom Mizell, Tim Oliver, Sydney Scott, Michael Woodson, and Caitlin Wurzelbach are the NKU Honor Choir participants. <laughs> Next, the District 14 Honor Choir folks, Hannah Barkasi, Akaika Cummings, Sean Hanning, Kennedy Hillman, Braden Long, Allie Levitt, Sam Tidwell, Dina Drozdoff, Brande Earhart, Kara Ferris, Gina Giordulo, James Hansey, Will Long, Lexi Oliver, Caitlin Pantano, and Aaron Reuter. District 14 Honor Choir. We had about nine students audition for the Ohio University Honor Choir. The thing that's kind of unique about that is Dr. Peter Jargissian at Ohio University drives around to high school, uh, about six, uh, seven satellite high schools around the state and personally auditions his Honor Choir. Um, the three that we had representing our school this year for the Ohio University Honor Choir in Athens was Brande Earhart, Kara Ferris, and Caitlin Pantano. Again, another, uh, it, it was kind of an interesting thing. Being out of town myself, we had four students that decided to still take solo to the District 14 Solo and Ensemble Contest. And uh, we ended up with superiors and excellent ratings at that as well. Dina Drozdoff, Brande Earhart, Kara Ferris, and Lauren Gafrida. <laughs> and very quickly, if you were a senior leader or an aide for me this year, please stand, because I appreciate it. At this time, we're going to continue on with the program, and uh, we're going to head, uh, go ahead and hand out service awards. These are based on years of commitment to high school chorus or the high school music program. Uh, please hold your applause until all of the folks have, have come up so that we can get through them as quickly as possible while still recognizing them. Uh, the first order of award is uh, a letter. A student earns a letter as a sophomore if they have participated in chorus for two years and they did something extra like solo and ensemble contest, the musical, or something along those lines. Uh, this year's recipients, and again, please hold your applause until we've concluded, are Caitlin Ball, Bev Dean, if you'd come up, Lauren Gafrida, James Hansey, Wendy Harmon, Shalina Hawkins, John Henze, Toria Heck, Monica Hickey, Christy Awima, Gabby Jones, Hannah Clare, Eden Lee, Kelsey Linder, Abby Mayer, Paula Mermelstein, Tim Myung, stay up here folks, Elizabeth, or excuse me, Lauren Morgan, Tim Oliver, Caroline Sanders, Amanda Seibert, Elena Simpson, Rachel Swango, Megan Wood, Michael Woodson, and Caitlin Wurzelbacher. So, a round of applause for this year's letter awards.
The next stage in the program, obviously after they earn a letter, another year of ser service on top of that, it earns them a Chevron. Having uh, went to high school, I used to call them bars that you used to put on jackets, but nobody wears those anymore. Uh, these are actual pins. They're receiving their first Chevron this year. Mayan Bell, Alexandra Bolig, Joy Davis, Kara Ferris, John Girdler, Wendy Harmon, Crystal Logan, Will Long, Corey Lord, Olivia Moraney, Lexi Oliver, Caitlin Pantano, Philip Poulter, Aaron Reuter, Sydney Scott, Lori Schreider, Josh Staten, Joanna Tidwell, Jacob Towner, and Corey Vondenbanken. And the final award that a student can receive, and uh, these are, if you look at these in your program, these are the students who are more than likely your, your uber dedicated kids, the kids that have been involved since their freshman year, that do just about everything. Um, many of them have been involved in multiple facets of the program, and uh, these are, are really some just outstanding kids. Receiving a second Chevron, these are all seniors. Kelly Browning, Abby Dennis, Dina Drozdoff, Brande Earhart, Laura Gates, Gina Giordulo, Philip Hesselbrock, Sarah Hutchinson, Rich Miller, Tom Mizell, Andrew Skinner, and Sarah Woodson. Being second and third in lines of the uh, festival concerts, I, I don't often get the privilege of handing it out, but I would like to note, and I would like you to help me in congratulating Sarah Woodson at the Band Concert Festival last Tuesday was named this year's uh, Music Department Musician of the Year. At this time, and folks, we have three things to give you, so don't walk away without three things unless you've received them previously. We're going to honor our seniors this year, and if you would just come out, folks, and make a line up here, starting down there near the drum set, we're going to go in alphabetical order. First and foremost, the guy who has silently gone about his duties and does it in a really classy way, and he's just an all-around good guy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. Mayan Bell, great guy. He's been a member of the men's chorus as a freshman and a sophomore. He's been a two-year member of Corral, and he attended solo and ensemble in his junior year. Mayan Bell, everybody. <laughs> Next is uh, a very, another in, very, very involved student, uh, Ms. Kelly Browning. She has been a member of the freshman women's chorus. The women's chorus is a sophomore, Corral is a senior, solo and ensemble for three years, NKU Honor Choir, band four years, pet band four years, symphonic orchestra for four years, pit for four years, and is also a member of the Blue Ash Youth Symphony as a freshman, Kelly Browning. <laughs> Next on the list is Abby Dennis, member of the freshman women's chorus, symphonic women as a sophomore, concert choir last year, Corral this year, Musical for three years, the solo and ensemble contest, two years. Orchestra all four years, has been a member of the Guard for three years, and was a member of the Ohio ba Ambassadors of Music as a freshman, Miss Abby Dennis. <laughs> Another very involved senior, uh, you saw her on the stage this year as well as you did a lot of these kids, Dina Drostoff, two-year member of Corral, two-year member of Vocal Jazz, four-year member in uh, four musicals, Solo and Ensemble is a junior and a senior. NKU Honor Choir is a junior. Has done District 14 Honor Choir for two years in a row. The Cincinnati Children's Choir is a freshman and sophomore orchestra for four years and was in the Hall of Fame Ensemble as a junior. Dina's Drostoff. <laughs> a lady that I uh, wish I had the fortune of having known a little bit longer because she's a really outstanding kid. Uh, Miss Lindsay Dykes. She joined us in Concert Choir last year and was a uh, really her smile was a great addition to the Symphonic Women's Chorus this year as a senior, Lindsay Dykes. <laughs> Is 
Seniors, if you're out there, you might want to come up close. Another extremely, and I, I'm probably just going to stop saying that because it's redundant, uh, Brande Earhart. She was a member of the Freshman Women's Chorus my first year here. Symphonic Women as a sophomore has been a two-year member of Chorale, a two-year member of Vocal Jazz, done the musical every year, solo and ensemble for three years, the NKU Honor Choir for two years, District 14 two years, joined the Ohio University Honor Choir this year, and has been a four-year member of the Color Guard, and she is the president of this year's choir, Brande Earhart. Kara Ferris joined Concert Choir last year and another student that I wish that I had had the fortune of knowing a little bit longer. He was joined Chorale this year, was in Vocal Jazz this year, did the musical last year, NKU Honor Choir, District 14, Ohio University, Northminster Youth Band, uh, has been a two-year member of band, two-year member of pep band, and decided to uh, give her hand at the Symphonic Orchestra this year. Really great kid, Kara Ferris. Next student, uh, another original member of my first year. It, that's really great for me because a lot of these kids were in the freshman women's chorus and the men's chorus my first year. So it's really, it's uh, kind of a, I don't know, a coming home kind of thing. Laura Gates was a member of the freshman women's chorus, joined Corral this year, did the musical her freshman year, involved in band, jazz band, pep band, solo and ensemble, symphonic orchestra, pit orchestra. District 14, and the Northminster Euphonium Trio. Really outstanding young musician. Really, really outstanding musician. Laura Gates, everybody. <laughs> Another original member, Gina Giordulo, was a member of the Freshman Women's Chorus. She is the only uh, student this year to be a three-year three member of Corral. She's in solo and ensemble as a sophomore and junior and decided to give her hand in the District 14 Honor Choir this year, Gina Giordulo. <laughs> this guy's a workhorse. He just gets it done, and, and, uh, and if he makes a mistake, you should see his facial expression because it's, I don't know, along the lines of like Chris Farley or something. Um, this guy's a really outstanding young man. Was a member of the Symphonic Men's Chorus for my first two years here. Joined Corral as a junior and is in here this year. And was in vocal jazz for two years. Really hardworking guy, John Girdler. <laughs> an interesting, interesting human being. That's all I can leave it to this. Was a member of the men's chorus for freshman sophomore year. Joined Corral last year as a junior. Is still here and uh, <laughs> solo and ensemble last year, and uh, did NKU Honor Choir as a sophomore. Mr. Philip Hesselbrock. Don't pick me up. Another guy that kind of joined late, he's been a really, really good guy to have around. Uh, joined our concert choir last year and uh, made it into the chorale this year as a senior. He's one of our basses, Mr. Derek Hill. This young lady is a very, very special young lady. She's uh, one that wears her heart on her sleeve and really, really, really cares. Uh, an outstanding kid. I'm really, really going to miss this one. I'm going to miss them all, but particularly this one. He was a member of the Freshman Women's Chorus when I started here. Symphonic Women as a sophomore, a junior, and a, se or a sophomore and a senior was in the concert choir last year and has done the musical for the past three years. Miss Sarah Hutchinson. Next student, uh, one that uh, just came to Finneytown this year, decided to join the women's chorus, and uh, very dedicated, makes, uh, is very particular, likes to do things exactly the correct way. She's a great student to have around. Is a senior in the symphonic women's chorus, Christy Awima.
Next student is another one that joined uh, Chorus as a senior, um, a member of the basketball team, one that a lot of folks know, and uh, he joined our men's chorus this year. It's Mr. Antonio Jeffries. And another one who really, really, I wish this student had come around a long time ago. Um, very mature student, one of those students that you just look at and you just know that she gets it. Um, she joined Corral this year, and I wish that she had been a four-year member because she's a really outstanding young lady. Miss Nicole Lehman. I don't know how to describe this young lady. She is an interesting character. She always smiles, and I'll just leave it at that. She's a member of the Freshman Women's Chorus, one of my original members. Symphonic Women is a sophomore for Corral in the past two years and did the NKU Honor Choir last year. Always wearing a smile. Might not know where she needs to be at the time, but it's Crystal Logan. <laughs> Next student, uh, joined Corral this year, had never sung previous to that. Um, left Finneytown, came back, was a member of our, our marching band as a freshman and a as a senior, was in the All-State Band this year, uh, has done concert percussion, winter drum line, and uh, just decided to join Corral this year. He auditioned when he came back to Finneytown. Uh, you saw him on drum set tonight, Tim Mayon. Another guy who is, is absolutely just an outstanding young man, a very hard worker, very similar uh, to John Girdler in the respect that if he makes a mistake, you're gonna know it. And uh, he's gonna work until he fixes it. Four-year member of band, three-year member of jazz band, three-year member of pep band, pit orchestra for two years, concert percussion, winter drumline, joined chorale this year, had never sung before either, joined vocal jazz this year, and he was the lead in the musical, having never sung. Fantastic. Fantastic young musician majoring in music, Rich Miller. Another guy, uh, I, I keep picking these guys all up when late in their, their high school careers, and so I'm just gonna have to do a little bit better job of nabbing them when they're in middle school. Four-year member of band, four-year member of jazz band, four-year member of pep band, symphonic orchestra for two years, concert percussion. Uh, vocal jazz for two years, and after he joined vocal jazz last year, I said, hey, why don't you audition for Corral? You might make it. So he joined this year, and he did our NKU Honor Choir as well this year. Another fantastic young musician, Tom Mizell. <laughs> young lady who joined us uh, midway through her high school career, has been another great addition. Uh, she's been featured in trios, done some other things. A member of our concert choir last year, joined chorale this year, was in vocal jazz, uh, did the musical last year, NKU Honor Choir last year, decided to uh, do the District 14 Honor Choir this year, Lexi Oliver. I was quiet when he was a freshman, and I've told him before that I think I liked him better that way, and I mean that in a loving way. He was a member of the men's course for two years. He joined Corral as a junior and is still here, and uh, decided to, I, I pushed him, and he, he decided to do the musical this year, and he brought a Brooklyn accent to Annie Get Your Gun. It was pretty interesting, and did solo and ensemble as a member of Corral last year. Interesting character, Phil Poulter. Another one that I nabbed just this year, uh, didn't know he had an interest in singing, he was a four-year member of band. I remember uh, giving a hard time when I helped out with marching band two years ago, because he wouldn't stand up straight. Pep band for four years, concert percussion for two years, winter drum line for two years. Joined Corral this year and said, you know what, I kind of like the singing thing, so I'm gonna do District 14 Honor Choir. You saw him on drums as well tonight, another really fine young musician, Aaron Reuter.
I guess the best thing that I can say about this young man is when you think of youth today and you're looking for kids with integrity and who are honest and just all around good kids, you think of this guy. He was a member of the men's course my first year. Joined Corral as a sophomore. Due to scheduling, he couldn't be in as a junior, but he came back this year, and I'm really glad that he did. Vocal jazz, vocal jazz for two years. Solo ensemble for three years. A member of the marching band for four years and the pep band for two years. Outstanding young man, Andrew Skinner. The guy was kind of quiet. He always uh, kept me guessing. But uh, a nonetheless, a very, very dedicated young man. He's joined uh, Symphonic Men uh, first two years of my career here. Was a concert choir member last year and joined the chorale this year. Really quiet, shy, but he just gets it done. Josh Staten. This guy I met because I was actually teaching him private lessons, and uh, he's just been a lot of fun to be around. Just to, and if you come to his graduation party, there's a little surprise, because I might make an appearance, and it's going to be interesting. And, and Aaron and, and Rich, it's, uh, never mind. Uh, this guy was taking lessons with me last year, and I said, hey, you know, you might want to sing. And he said, well, I think I sang in middle school, and I drove the middle school choir director crazy. He was a member of our pit orchestra last year, and he joined Corral this year. Another very, very dedicated student, hardworking guy, John Steen. A couple more seniors for you this evening. Uh, another student who she joined a couple years ago. I, I didn't know much about her. She's very quiet and shy, but she's always wearing a smile. And uh, she was a member of the Women's Chorus as a sophomore, was there this year, and was a member of the Concert Choir last year. Really great young lady, Rachel Swango. A lot of seniors this year. And finally, uh, last but not least, this young lady is another one that uh, when you think of integrity, hardworking, just an all around nice kid, you think of this person. Four year member of band, four year member of pet band, solo and ensemble as a sophomore, orchestra for four years, pit orchestra for four years. Uh, I gotta tell you, hanging out in the pit orchestra during the actual show, this girl just made made it interesting and she made me laugh and I made her laugh and we probably got in trouble a couple times. Uh, the freshman women's chorus, the symphonic women's chorus as a sophomore, couldn't be in it, but she was accepted as a junior and, f and came back and I'm, I'm really, really glad she did as a senior to corral. The NKU Honor Choir as a sophomore, very young, uh, fantastic young lady and our musician of the year, Sarah Woodson. Ladies and gentlemen, and stay up here for just a second, the class, the class of 2006. Before we conclude this evening, we do have one uh, major award that is handed out every year, and I'll just read the certificate briefly. This is in recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement of outstanding contributions to the success of the school vocal program and of unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high qualities of conduct by the general consent of the music faculty, schools, officials, and, and others. This is the National School Choral Award, and this year's recipient is Brande Earhart. And if you give us a brief moment, we're going to get set up for the slideshow, and we'd like to thank you for coming tonight. Hello. Okay. Uh, actually, before we get started with our uh, senior slideshow, 
Uh, seniors collected money and uh, put it together to get a gift for Mr. McKee. And this year we got him a gift card to uh, Olive Garden <laughs> and two movie tickets so he can enjoy a night with his wife with free popcorn and free drinks. So this is for you, Mr. McKee. And we also could not forget Mrs. Hartman, so we got her some lovely flowers because she's amazing. So.
This has been a production of Waycross Community Media, the Access Partnership of Forest Park, Green Hills, and Springfield Township. Opinions expressed are those of the program's participants and do not necessarily represent the Community Programming Board, volunteers and staff of the Waycross Media Center, the community governments, or the cable company. If you have questions regarding this program or if you would like to participate in the activities of Waycross, call 825-2429 or write Waycross Community Media, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio, 45240.